everyone, Jenna here. So I have today a new freebie for you and um, I have for people that do digital scrapbooking on Photoshop, but I also have them on for Procreate. So also if you want to start creating this arts layouts in Procreate and I created a Procreate file with the template. You can also open the PSD but I decided to save for convenience a uh, ready-made Procreate file. So the thing that you're going to do, as you can see here, you're going to put the picture on top of the mask and you're going to mask choosing the clipping mask feature. And what I'm using here now to, you know, bring papers and other elements, I use a flash drive and I have the link in the comments, not in the comment section, but in the notes section of the video for you. So the template already come with masks and some embellishments. So you just have to put the background and, you know, a, um, I put the placement where the title should be, but you can change and you just hide the placement of the title and you can put your own title there. And here I'm using my Bloom's collection uh, to create this layout with the papers and elements from the Bloom collection. And, you know, it's so easy. I think the only work that you have extra that it makes it a little difficult with Procreate is, of course, the shadows because different than Affinity and Photoshop app, Procreate doesn't have um, shadows. So you have to do a little bit of work, which is I'm going to do with this word here. You have to duplicate the element that you want to create a shadow. And the copy that is underneath, you're going to put alpha lock. That's the system. Duplicate, then tap alpha lock. As you can see there, alpha lock and fill with black. So we're going to fill the layer. Now remove the alpha lock. And now we're going to, you know, tap a little bit for the shadow to go to the side. And I'm going to go on the effects and blur. And you blurred a little bit. So that's what you have to keep doing with all the elements. And, but the results are really good and you can play with the warp tool as well. I have this on a previous, um, temp, uh, previous features that I have. So um, really great. So other than that, pretty much is the same way you can do a digital scrapbooking uh, page, artsy page with a Photoshop. The only extra work really is the shadow. What you can do as well as a idea is you can put all the elements, you know, because the great thing about this is that you can do this while you're traveling, commuting, whatever, watching TV. And later when you have time, you can just send this, export this as a PSD and open in Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, Affinity, any program that accepts PSD files. And then you can shadow everything. If you have a particular style of shadows that you use, then you can use your favorite shadow style. You don't necessarily have to do everything on Procreate. I think Procreate is great to give you a head start. Uh, imagine how many layouts you can, you know, if you're doing a trip and you can do many layouts, just sitting on the sofa watching something and then later just shadow everything or correct some things. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be all and done in Procreate, but it can give you the, that, you know, ahead. In this case, I finished the whole layout here in Procreate, uh, but just so you know, I shadow everything that I wanted to shadow here. But it's totally possible. It's just a little extra step. Of course, with Photoshop and Affinity, you can just do the click of a button with styles. And um, also this... Um, file, this template file can also be open in um, Fresco or the Photoshop app and I will do later a video showing to use and maybe modify the template a little bit with Photoshop app. But I wanted to uh, show you first. Um, if you want to see more templates and digital scrapbooking layouts with Photoshop, I have um, many other videos showing that. You can just go to the playlist and go to digital scrapbooking and you're going to see uh, videos with me doing things in Photoshop. I'm actually going to record a new video after I finish with this one. So um, plenty of options here according to your time. Like I myself now working full time now 
and you know whatever i can do to make things easier and faster that's it so i hope you enjoyed this one if you have any questions let me know in the comments and i hope you enjoy